power supply replacement for Mac Pro A1186. We're going to need our standard uh, Phillips head screwdriver as well as a short handed Phillips head screwdriver. When looking at the rear of the Mac Pro, you can see that there is a latch right here on the left side of the rear. Go ahead and flip the unit down where the latch is on top. Pop the latch out with your finger. This will release the side door. You can just lift up the side door after popping out that latch. Now you can just take the door and move it out of the way. Make sure the latch is in the all the way open position and pull on the two handles and you can just pull out the optical drive bay. It comes right out. Be very careful, it's attached with two cables. The IDE cable and the uh, power cable. Go ahead and remove the IDE cable gently by prying it back and forth as you tug on it. Same goes for the power cable. The power supply is right behind the optical bay. Right underneath the power supply, there are four hex screws securing it. They are the only four hex screws there, so you can identify them and uh, find them. There are two uh, on the top, and you'll need a short screwdriver to get them. Uh, one, one directly underneath there. Um, and as you can see, as I'm unscrewing it, I'm having a little bit of trouble reaching so I get this third screw uh, and I will have to remove the uh, security bracket so I can remove the uh, graphics card and the other peripherals see I'm pulling them out here uh, and uh, gently removing the graphics card so that I have full reach and I can get to that fourth screw securing the um, power supply. Again, there are only four hex screws there, so you can quickly identify them. They are not Phillips head screws like the rest. Now you can pull up, uh, uh, I mean to the side and pull up on the uh, power supply and should come out like that. Uh, this is where things get a little tricky. Prying these apart, you have to go in from both ends and press on the tabs. Um, I'm speeding this up. This usually takes a really long time. It's very difficult. You basically have to, with your left hand, press the tab uh, on the cable, and then when your right hand, press the two tabs and pull them both apart. Uh, they're all different, except for the last two. They're the same. Um, and uh, once you get them disconnected, that's what it looks like. Reassembly A1186. To reconnect, you have to go in from both sides. Prep the left side first, and then plug the right side into it. Again, uh, the second cable is gonna be the widest one. Uh, you connect that, and then the last two are both the same pinout. Um, and they go in just like that. It's going to take time reconnecting them. Do not be frustrated. Once they're all reconnected, you can go ahead and drop the power supply back in. Uh, and as you drop it in, you want to slide it down a little bit, shift it down back into this orientation. Look over in the bottom of it, see that the holes are lined up, and go ahead and secure it with those four uh, hex screws. They're three millimeter hex screws. Once those four screws are secured, go ahead and pop in the graphics card back in. Secure that. The peripherals. Uh, and any other brackets that were moved during the uh, removal and then secure them all with the uh, retainer bracket. Now we can reinstall the uh, DVD drive. Go ahead and uh, reconnect the IDE cable. Now go ahead and reconnect the power cable. Once the ID cable and power cable are reconnected, you can slide the drive back in. If you pay close attention, you can see that the drive has rails. And if you align those rails on the left side, it should go right in smooth and click it in. Make sure it's nice and firm. Go ahead, place back the top uh, enclosure and secure it. Make sure it's sealed and lock in that latch. 
um, push that in and then you can stand the unit up and we're all set.